So, hello everybody. My name is uh, Sebastian. I'm working for Swisscom as a cloud architect. And today, you're going to have a presentation and a demo about monitoring in NFV cloud. Today with me, Christoph. Hi, I'm Christoph Olivier, product manager at Ixia. And Patrick. Hi, I'm uh, Patrick Estin, I'm a product manager on NFV at uh, Eric. Okay. Oh, it's better. <laughs> yep. Okay. And uh, we have a last people. Uh, Anirban. Also Anirban, the... our colleague, who could not make it because he had a visa issue. You will hear him hopefully around uh, when we do the short demo on the voiceover. Okay. A uh, small background about uh, Swisscom. So Swisscom is the main telecommunication provider of uh, Switzerland. We offer solution and product in uh, mobile, fix, and uh, IT domain. And to reduce our network cost, we aim to migrate all our network function into a telco cloud provided by Ericsson. In this new setup, we'll, we will face a monitoring blind spot because the inter-VM traffic never reach the top of the rack switches. And the monitoring of the east-west traffic is very important for uh, for Swisscom because it prevents security and performance issue. Ixia is today a main partner of uh, Swisscom for the monitoring of the network function, of the physical network function. And together with Ericsson, we want to demonstrate that 100% visibility is possible of 100% uh, visibility of inter -VM traffic is possible. On this uh, architecture, you see the first migration step uh, of our project. In white, you see the physical network function allowing to produce the IP connectivity for the mobile customer. In gray, we have the Ericsson Telco Cloud. And in blue, we have the Ericsson Virtual Network Function. With those three virtual network functions, we will produce the Vo the voice over LT traffic. The goal of this architecture is to go in production in Q2 2017, and we will migrate the rest of the traffic in 2018. Thank you, Sebastian, for the introduction. It's kind of yeah, we are okay. Uh, so now we have the network topology, and how do we get to that uh, east-west virtual traffic? We did it by implementing, implementing virtual taps from a product called uh, Phantom VTAP, which is a, a key component of Ixia virtual visibility solution. It's here, I hope you can see it, on those, uh, between the Ericsson VNFs, the Ixia VTAP is positioned there. Now, how does that happen? How, how do you deploy those taps? The workflow is, was first to set up the VEPC traffic, number one here your different ENFs on your compute nodes. Then you have to set up the service manager, which is part of that uh, virtual tab product. And we did that by leveraging uh, OpenStack heat template, which is leveraged for both implementing the service manager as well as installing the virtual tabs. And the virtual tabs are those, uh, I don't know if you see green here, number three, those virtual, uh, those VMs, they are service VMs which uh, leverage the uh, tap as a service fr framework to mirror the east-west traffic. Then once the traffic is mirrored, we send it to the aggregator, which is a virtual packet broker or a physical packet broker here at the bottom, number four. And from there, the traffic is replicated to uh, the virtual tools or physical tools or to the probes. In this case, it would be uh, physical probes. Now I'm going to show you a, a, a pre-recorded demo of what we've done. And uh, for some reasons, the diagram is not uh, completely loading, loaded. Uh, in blue, since the, 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 the environment is not yet fully deployed, we used Ixia IXload pro test product to simulate wireless traffic. So let's play. I need to maximize. So, do you hear? Can you hear yeah. the voice? Because and analyzes the 
entropy, dedupes it and sends it to the XCA virtuality for the app analysis. Um, I'll show you in iXload application, uh, we configured the uh, virtual VNF for iXload um, uh, telco cloud traffic generation. It generates the traffic using the real stack as you see here. In the statistics it shows the traffic is slowing and the call establishment is in progress. Uh, so in our Ixia uh, network topology you see in the open stack uh, all these Ixia VNFs they are sending traffic to X the telco cloud from where the traffic is uh, received by Ixia taps a virtual tap service through the tap as a service framework which uh, filters the traffic and sends the UDP traffic to Ixia aggregator which aggregates the traffic and forwards it to the Ixia virtuality tool for analysis. The Ixia virtual service manager has policy which enforces that it will only forward and filter the traffic for UDP traffic to the Ixia virtual aggregator. The NTOP NG running inside the Ixia virtual aggregator shows that the UDP traffic is received by the virtual aggregator both RTP and SIP is being forwarded to the Ixia virtual ATIP module which shows in the dashboard a summary of the application and if I zoom in to the uh, distribution of last one hour you see we are receiving, receiving the, the, the SIP calls here. So I um, will also show uh, the capture which shows that uh, uh, the first capture one shows all the traffic which includes the GTP, TCP and all kind of traffic coming to the Ixia virtual tab which goes and filters the traffic and sends all only the required one which is the UDP, uh, GTP and, and the SIP traffic to the Ixia virtual aggregator. So this shows a uh, the way that how Ixia emulated the Swisscom virtual telco cloud and then helping monitoring it using the virtual uh, tap and aggregator solution. That concludes my demo. Thank you. Okay, so you saw the demo on how this uh, work in a, in a cloud environment. The, um, the role of Ericsson uh, uh, here is we are the provider of the, of the overall cloud infrastructure and uh, the, some of the, the key VNF to deliver these services. The way forward here is, um, uh, and what we uh, do uh, together with uh, Swisscom and uh, Ixia, and as part of the open source community, is to uh, implement this type of the service framework within uh, OpenStack. Uh, this is a very important uh, uh, requirement, especially in a telco and a critical workload in environment. So we have been working, uh, our team has been working with the community on making this project uh, in OpenStack. We now want to work on the, on the next release to make it uh, uh, available and one of the key OpenStack uh, uh, project. Uh, an important uh, uh, aspect is that um, uh, um, TAP as a service will provide the API uh, on top of OpenStack to uh, automate these uh, this deployments. And as a backend of, uh, uh, of, uh, for OpenStack, really to implement uh, the tapping that was shown in the, uh, in the demo uh, in the virtualization environment. We, uh, our goal is to uh, enable and align development in OpenDelight and OVS so that we have a full stack that is based on open source and can provide these key uh, critical services in, um, uh, for telco cloud environment. So that includes uh, uh, OVS and DPK um, deployment, the development as well as the ODL uh, deployments. It will provide uh, a flexibility in terms of uh, policy if you do, uh, because uh, TAP as a service uh, has a lot of uh, security requirements and performance impacts, so it's important to do uh, things uh, in the proper way. That's what we are uh, contributing to the, to the community, and this is where we are ready to uh, uh, cooperate with any of the um, members of the community to take that to the next level and make it uh, uh, productify. So having said that, I think we are done for our presentation, and we are ready for any question. Thank you very much. Thank you.